Mrs. Callagher. Apologies for bursting in on you like this, Mrs. Caligari, particularly on such a lovely Sunday. Tuesday. After, morning. After morning. Thank you for it. Keep your kids on the head, Mrs. Caligari. Mrs. Caligari, my name is Detecting Chief Comfortable Inspective. And this is private. <laughs> private, uh, Well, like I said, it's private. It's very hush hush. <laughs> We're here to discuss a small incident that occurred earlier today. Mrs. Caligari, can you explain why a small piggy bank came selling forth from your living room window earlier this morning? It would appear that what's actually happened. Mrs. I was on my side rounds, Mrs. Caligari, in my assigned squad car, minding the assigned business of mine and protecting that of others, as is my earthly assignment. When a tin pleated missile of porcine extraction came flying in through the window and ploughed me in the. Uh, in the. Uh, in the face, sir. In the face, Mrs. Caligari. Yes, and we have it on good authority that your son... Luckily, I managed to avoid a horrible accident by steering my car carefully and calmly into the back of a nearby fish van. <laughs> Crisis averted. Mrs. Caligari, if we could just have a moment of your time... Although, sir. fish everywhere... Sir, we said we were going to talk about this back... Flukes, mackerel and halibut carpeted the road, <laughs> eels flew full sheets to the wind and then some... Pretty completely beside the point. My God, I can still see. Gills <laughs> flapping and flying like the heaving afterbirth of some mighty kraken. <laughs> nearby children covered in place. Nearby places covered in place. <laughs> that's my dog. The dog, sir. The dog, private, a fiendish hell of loose amidst the chaos, came flying at me, jaws the gate was only a pig terrier cat. Pig? What? Dog. Dog, was it? Yes, it was a dog. It was the pig that hit you. Well, a pig, then. It looked like a dog to me, private, but then in the heat of battle, Mrs. Caligari, even a mighty lion can look like a basket. <laughs> George, why don't we go and have a nice lie down? Determined to eat the fishmonger, weakened I was by the blow to my, uh, to my, uh... Face. Sure. What? Indeed, I ran to the fellow's side and skidded on a brazen bit of squid, Mrs. Caligari. Caligari? Oh, no, thank my drive. <laughs> I caught myself, oh, I can only be described as a bow. But why don't we come back another time? Before you can say slicker than a mammoth's pelt at tea time, the dog had spotted the bone, which was still in my grasp, and come full pelt towards me, determined to get its backbone. Bone back. Scattering bananas. Fish. Probably as it went. Yes, and as for your son, well. Indeed, as for the pig, Mrs. Caligari, I can promise you that the sum total of his innards, a tidy four pounds and seventy-six pence, will add very little to what is likely to be a hefty fine and clean. Simon, I might add, is absolutely gutted. Simon. Simon the fishmonger, private owner and chairman of Simon's mobile fish palace. Gutted he is, as gutted as his words. <laughs> yes. Now look, obviously we don't want to arrest a lad as young as Robert. The forms, Mrs. Caligari. We'd be five deep in paper cuts before we'd even begun. But we'll have to do a little community service to make up the damages. The fish. As far as street sweeping. Everywhere. Picking up litter, that sort of thing. Like a massacre in an aquarium. We'll only have to do about 12 hours or so. Indeed he will, darling. Indeed he will. <laughs> and if you want your dog back, Mrs. Caligari, you've got quite a few bananas to find. <laughs> Henry? <laughs> Welcome back to Petrol FM, Kent's primetime traffic channel. Just a reminder to keep clear of Vampire Close today as it's currently roped off for cleaning. Local fish fatherer Robert Caligari will be sweeping up salty sea guts all day today, so do pop by for a double whammy of gills and guilt. On to our car mat question now. This week, can you make soup out of them? Well, let's find out. Have you got that blender, Gordon? Oi! Psst! There he is! Look! Oi! More in there! Shh! There he is! Look! Robert Caligari! Oi! Psst! There he is! Look! There he is! Oi! Morning, Wesley! Shh. There he is! Look! Cleaning up the mess, sweeping it up, cleaning up our streets. Trying to mend his ways. Community service, eh? Hey? Oh, it's a laugh. It's a laugh. Oh, 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 community service, eh? Hey? I'll tell you what it is, June. Hey, Ted. There he is. Look, ha, ha, ha. Community service. Is no laughing matter. Oh, sorry, Ted. Apologies for the outburst. Did you go to the court, Ted? Well, that ain't my with the hair. No, behind him the boy with a bump and the evil stare. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Look. Careful there, you've missed a bit. The nasty. Filthy, rotten, dead. dead. Punish him. Yeah. Make him pair. Make him pair. Yeah. Yeah. Night till day. Yeah. Make him pair. Yeah. Make him sleep. Yeah. Don't give him any dirt. Yeah. And he cleans our sleep. Yeah. It is and yeah. I've lived in fear. Yeah. Yeah. out of sight. Yeah. The robot's near. Yeah. Now we've been working to the back place. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that? He can have a lovely bit. 
just can't be. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you, you want two books? That does sound nice. That's a good It's a butt. I always look at Butty, and he was in the queue. What did he do? He, he kicked it. So while I was cooking pork chops on my new barbecue, and what did he do? He, he kicked, kicked it, it, kicked, kicked it. it. I gave him a pig-shaped tin kazoo. What did he do? He, he kicked, kicked it, it, kicked it, kicked it. it. I dressed my baby in a piglet costume. What did he do? He, no. <laughs> well, oh my! There he is! Look! Well, ha. it's what he does! Oh there he is! Look! Look at him there! Oh, officially oh, said! Oh, look at this! Swear! There he is! Look! Just his ass! He did! Yeah, yeah. Silly boy! Oh, there he slipped! Look! Ha! Look at him all! Oh, look at him hold! We come in his shoes! It's good of his nose! How silly it looks! It serves him right! Cleaning up after! His piggy bangs flat! Ha! You want to kick a prig? Pigs! Know. I kick pigs! And who the hell are you? Puncher of porkers, butcher of bacon sandwiches, champion striker for West Ham! <laughs> <laughs> examine me, sir, if you dare. Oh, I intend to, my boy. I intend to examine you very deeply. Charge, Stephanie! A Calabari, Robert, 13 years old, and it height and weight, though unusually angular for a boy his age. Several disturbing instances to date. He kicked a packet of quality sausages at the butcher's counter, booked in the prize hog of a local county fair, toe pumped an assistant piggy bank into a local policeman's face. Well, it's clear the boy's obsessed. Yes. Let us begin the egg, ham and bacon. What? The examination that you're showing me. <laughs> Go, that's enough, Robert. There are ladies present. Now, let's see. This just goes here. On your flesh. <laughs> Well, your red pipe water seems to be. Oh, don't be a female! Surely you're a doctor! <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, yes, I doctor. <laughs> study, study, doctor. Yes, yes, I docked. Studying the docking for years. Marvellous pastime. Lots of graphs. You're in safe hands with me, my boy face. Sagittarius. No, I just say. Ah. Uh, Holy Jehovah! Diagnosis, doctor! Oh, no, no, no. It's definitely not diagnosis. I know that much. <laughs> but there's nothing physically wrong with the boy. His mucus is strong and aptly pungent, and he's as nimble as a jaybird in spring. No, no, I'd have to say that the problem here was purely psychosomatic. What? Who? Psychosomatic, the intellectual inability to implicate identity into indecision. It's all in Holbenstein. Did you read Holbenstein? I like the romance books! <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, there is an issue here. It's plain to see young Robert simply has an urge, an unbridled need to, for want of a better word, um, a boot boss to kick pigs, Stephanie. To kick pigs. It's, it's a need. It's an animal instinct. But why? Why? But because my sister never that had it. Oh, is an answer I do not know. I may be all powerful, Stephanie, but I am still just a mere mortal. No, no. The answer to this particular riddle lies in the cavernous mind of young Robert here. Why does he enjoy kicking pigs? Like I said, because my sister... I mean, the boy does not. And how could he? He's just a child. A child that's become a monster. No, no, yes, yes, no, no. I'm going to give you my professional medical opinion, which is we must listen to Robert. Well, prepare for your minds to be well and truly boggled then. It all starts I mean, we must to... listen. <laughs> Listen to his urges, let the disease guide our treatment. Then there's nothing that we can do. There really is, my sweet, sweet Stephanie. Ah! That's the harsh truth of ducting. But we mustn't blame ourselves. Why, if I had a threepenny bit for every young boy who came to me with destructive tendencies, I'd have half a crown shilling and two bob tuppence and speak no more about it. Oh. Ah! 
Now get this psycho back to the ward. <laughs> get yourself cleaned up. Come back to me as pretty as a pony. And Robert, for God's sake, boy, take a lollipop. <laughs> A boy who kicks pigs, eh? What have I next? What is my next oh, appointment, nurse? Uh, the girl who nicks pigs has had to cancel something about an arrest in a grocery shop in Margate. But your three o'clock Mrs. Bracken is already waiting outside. And what's wrong with her? She's six up twigs. 